Hi, insurance friends. I am so excited to talk with you today. I am with the amazing Nate Shiggy. I, I said it wrong. I said it wrong tonight. You always got it. Nate oh, Shiggy. You were close. See, <laughs> and I even practiced. So all of our insurance friends out there, we are at the incredible DEI Opportunity in Insurance Conference. We are in Washington, D.C. Nate, where do you live? Washington, D.C. Isn't that great? He's right here. It's fantastic. So this is an amazing conference. As many of you know, it is hosted by APCIA, Lycone, and ACLI. The general session is going on right now. I popped out to talk with Nate for a few minutes, and I'm so excited to introduce you all to Nate, his amazing company, CCM, or Capture Create Media. So Nate, what are you doing here at this conference? What's happening with you today? We are documenting the whole experience. So we're documenting the whole conference. Um, getting shots of the speakers. I'm also interviewing a lot of the professionals that are here. And uh, we're gonna turn this into something magical. So it is already magical working with Nate. So I got to give a huge shout out for the insurance careers movement and APCIA. We've been working on a new website with Nate and his awesome team, Dr. Phil, Stephanie. It's been phenomenal. And so I'm so excited that he's here, part of this conference. And he has been everywhere. It's like so great. He's all over the conference, but really helping tell our story. And what I love about working with Nate and why I wanted to jump on LinkedIn Live is so much for our industry about how do we accelerate conversations on diversity, equity, and inclusion, really drive action. How do we recruit more people to our industry and help them stay? I believe it's through the stories we tell. So Nate, why is video so important to you? I know we've talked about it in the past, but why do you think video is such a great platform as we try and move action and take um, encourage more people and such? So what do you, how's video? Uh, I think video is really important because everybody has a device in their hands now. So remember when it was on 3G <laughs> and you couldn't even load YouTube? Now everybody right. is 4G and we're moving to 5G. So everybody has access to high quality video. And you can create a live stream like this and reach your audience um, if you know where they are. So you can package it up in long form and short form. You can record the long form and break it into micro content. Um, you can really be as creative as you want to kind of speak to your target audience. Um, so I watch a lot of YouTube. That's where I get all my ideas from. Um, but um, I'm entertained by YouTube also. Right. Um, and it also creates an opportunity for people to engage with you. Right. Um, you can reach a worldwide audience of people as opposed to just your localized audience. So can you tell why I am so excited? It is so amazing. And again, it's just been so fantastic working with Nate and his team at CCM. And it has been just really exciting to talk more about how are we engaging as we think to the future. And again, the storytelling is so fantastic. What I also love that we've been working with Nate is how do you take content as you just shared and repackage it and repurpose it in different ways on how people consume information. And so as we look at an insurance careers movement, how are we reaching more students? How are we reaching more returners back to work? How are we encouraging more people to stay? This video element really helps people see the passion in our industry, how people love their jobs, the innovation. So it's really just absolutely fantastic. So I also wanna ask you, cause I was like, okay, we're gonna do LinkedIn Live. I know our insurance industry, you all know too, can be, um, we're risk adverse, and so a picture can be easier for us with communicating and trying to reach new audiences because you can take a picture, you can take 30 pictures. So video can be a little bit scary sometimes or doing lives like this. How do you encourage people to really like embrace? You're right, because you could just even take your yeah. phone. How do you encourage people to take that step to be like, I'm gonna do more with video? I like to tell people it's an iterative process and just get started. Um, chances are the first time you do it, it's not going to look good. But by the time you get to the fifth and tenth iteration, you'll kind of start to find a rhythm. Um, but it really takes getting in there and just practicing. Um, the best camera that you have is the one that you own right now. So don't be afraid to use your phone. Don't feel like you need a high quality camera. You right. can always use your phone and kind of start to get practice. And, um, Camera phones, you can do a lot of things with that. You can live stream from that as well. And people really like just authentic stories. So the better you get at your storytelling, um, the more you're likely to engage an audience or at least um, get some viewers for your video. So practice makes perfect. The first time you might not get it right. But if you keep going, practice in the bedroom, practice in the shower. Just oh, always practice good. talking in front of the camera. And you get better and better and better. And um, also, if you incorporate any type of feedback, um, that's great as well. So um, 
sometimes you might you talk to the camera but you're inside of your head but talk to the camera um show it to somebody you trust and um see what their feedback is and then you can accelerate you can compound your um compound your experience of actually producing content with that feedback as well. So I love, so great advice, great tips. Thank you so much. And again, it's like the encouragement of just doing it, which is so fantastic in the practicing. And I also love that Nate was just talking about feedback and call to actions. We talk about that a lot. So I'm going to do a call to action. I'm going to ask right now in the comments below, if you're watching live right now with us, or if you're watching a playback, tell us if you are doing video in your recruiting, in your retention, in your DEI work. How are you help showcasing how we really are trying to move the industry forward in some really exciting ways. So tell us in the comments below, are you doing video? We would love to hear that. So tell us below. It's really fantastic. Okay. So you guys also have a sneak peek. I'm going to give a little shout out. If you look down, if you see down that corridor, that is the amazing, it's Omari from Naya, the executive director of Naya. He is the MC for the conference. And as you all know, with the insurance careers movement, we love collaborating with Naya. They are doing phenomenal work. Please go to their website. Make sure you're downloading the report, the next steps on the journey, because Omari is down there talking to Dr. Donna Ray. He is in the house too, which is so exciting. And so they're going to talk further during the conference about the next steps in the journey, what the industry can be doing to take more actions. Nate interviewed Omari earlier today. So it's really just an exciting time at the conference. I want to give a huge shout out to all the sponsors for the DEI Expanding Opportunity and Insurance Conference. Huge shout out again to APCIA, like Cooney, and ACLI. They've done a phenomenal job. There's amazing speakers. Thanks for coming to our live. Wait, now we need to tell people, how would they find you, Nate? Because again, it's been absolutely amazing working with Nate and his team. So if you are doing um, content development, if you are doing website marketing, advertising, you've got to go check out Nate and his yes. team. So how do they find you? You can find us at CaptureCreateMedia.com. That's a CaptureCreateMedia.com. Um, you can also email us at info at CaptureCreateMedia.com. Um, there's a form, you can fill it out and we'll get right back to you. They are absolutely amazing. Okay, so Nate, thank you so much for jumping on LinkedIn Live. Be sure to go on social media to check out what's happening with the conference. Just search the hashtag DEI2023. You'll see all kinds of great pictures and comments. I'm speaking this afternoon. I did my interview already with Nate this morning. And then this afternoon, I am on a panel with the amazing Brett Carter from the Jacobson Group, Adam from Zurich, and Carrie from Selective. And we're going to be talking about recruitment and retention, and I cannot wait. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you all soon. Go check out Nate and his great team. Thanks. <laughs>